In this video, we're going to explore two major new improvements to ambient occlusion baking in 3D Coat 4.5. The first one is the inclusion of OpenCL GPU acceleration for ambient occlusion baking. Previously, it could take several minutes in order to finish baking ambient occlusion on a model like this, but now it's been reduced down to a fraction of that time. So even if you choose CPU mode, it still is significantly faster than ambient occlusion baking in 4.1. The other major new improvement is the ability to utilize normal maps during this baking process. So let's go ahead and get started by hiding some of the layers here. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and select the visibility icon on one of these layers. And the only one I'm going to leave intact is this one that has normal map information on it. You need to have that visible so that 3D Coat can utilize it during this baking process. With that done, switch to normals and you can see this is all the normal map information that I have. So now let's go ahead and go to the textures menu and choose calculate occlusion. You'll see the dialog come up and OpenCL is chosen by default. And I want to bring to your attention that OpenCL allows the user to utilize either an NVIDIA graphics card or AMD graphics card. And those are the two major manufacturers of these individual graphics chips. So again, this will work with whatever card you happen to have. But you do have the option, if you so choose, to utilize CPU. We're going to stick with OpenCL and you can use hemisphere, sphere, or sphere plus hemisphere. And what this does is this sphere hemisphere just places more lights at the top half if that's what you so choose. And that's what we'll choose here. We'll choose to place the result in a new layer, but you could choose to place it in the currently selected one. We'll, we'll stick with into new layer and you'll notice a dramatic increase in the default number of lights. And what this means is that 3D Coat utilizes an invisible light array. It's invisible to the user anyway. And uh, this light array will have this number of lights to do the baking with. So this is not true ray casting, but nonetheless this is very effective. And I should note that ray casting is on the to-do list but it may take a little while because Andrew is currently going into a deep maintenance mode called refactoring. Nonetheless, you have a significantly higher number and this only improves the quality. Previously, you were looking at about 16 lights as a default. Obviously, you could go much higher than that, but you know, even at 128 or maybe 256 lights, a object like this with as many details as this has could take well over 10 minutes but as you'll see here momentarily this time is going to be reduced dramatically I'll hit okay I'm not speeding up a playback on this at all. It's all in real time. And that's your result. Came out pretty well. If I look a little bit closer here and hide the eye layer, you can confirm that it did indeed use the normal map during this process. So yeah, that's a quick look at the major new improvements to ambient occlusion baking in 3D Coat 4.5. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.